gather round everyone and hear again the tale of Drakfu. Welcome back. Happy Friday, everybody. And here we go again for the tale of Drakfu. So, last time we began the questing in Gorgron, and I actually should address this right here and now. People might notice that there was a little bit of a time skip in the parts. There isn't a time skip. Unfortunately, uh, part 167 on Monday got blocked uh, by YouTube content ID. I don't, they say it was Blizzard. I really don't think it is because I've seen a lot of uh, other WAD videos for that specific uh, cinematic or cutscene that have been plain on content ID. So I am working to dispute that. I'm working to free up the video. And if it doesn't work out, then obviously I will repost the video maybe with just taking that cutscene out and you guys can still at least get 167 until this whole thing resolves. But till then, that's why there's a little bit of a skip. I'm hoping that this will get resolved very soon. But let's go ahead and get started. So, people might notice I haven't started up in the garrison. As a bonus to you guys, I actually did all the mining and the herbing before I came out here because, like I said, there's a command table out here. We can do the missions here. So let's go ahead and do it. So we have Fury of the South Wind Clips. Yay! We got on a mission, which means we've done 10 garrison missions. Woohoo! And 400 XP for my followers. And then Rylock Attrition. Okay, successful. And we got some extra bonus XP for Kala. And Olin for Shadow Beneath Us. And yay, he leveled up. So, 200 XP, that's awesome. Now, we already see some player XP, so we'll go ahead and take that too. Uh, let's go ahead and send Shadow Hunter Rala to take care of it. And then we also do have some ones that we are eligible for. So let's go ahead and do this. And Olin will get us uh, the coverage we need. But let's go ahead and take uh, Olna and Kala. Actually, let's take Lokra. Lokra will probably benefit from this a bit more. Now, if it's blue, that means that I might have somebody, but they're not available. And then red straight is, um, I don't have one that's eligible. But maybe we can, let's see, I want to actually get a three one. So this is my only three. 58, 64, 69. Now, again, they're going to get the base XP, so at least let's just let's get them out there and get them running. Uh, let's go ahead and resume the questing, though, in Gorgron. So we're in the jungle portion of Gorgron, and we are already working in Razorheart, but now we're going to move over to... Um, oh, I can't even remember what they what they called it. Uh, Evermorn Springs, that's what it was. So we already have all of these uh, set up, so let's go ahead and head over to them. Resume our questing. And then we also befriended the Laughing Skull Clan, so, or at least we're, we're working to befriend them. Uh, that way we can at least have an ally who knows the terrain, because this is jungle terrain, we don't know too much about it, and obviously, it is SAVAGE! So let's go ahead and go down here, and here is Evermorn Springs, actually, so it is where I, I thought it was in Deep Root. So, here we go, and obviously we have some redone uh, Ravagers and Wasps. Oh, this place is nasty when you when you think about it. But here we go, Everborn Springs. Let's go ahead and get the questing started today. And we're also going to pay attention to some timber, because we really do need to get the timber quest done. So, we need to kill seven Bloom Weavers and get 20 Potent Pollen. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to get the potent pollen, but we can at least start taking care of the bloom weavers in the meantime. So once again, happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody's had a good week so far. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, for me, it's just going to be a busy weekend because obviously I'm continuing to work on stuff uh, for the next week as well as uh, get ready to edit like crazy because uh, just a quick reminder... There will actually be very little uploads next week because it's going to be that last week in the month where I'm devoting more time towards the podcasts and getting them up to speed. Because as much as I love you guys, um, the podcasts are probably, if I'm going to earn any money off of this stuff, that's, that's where I'm going to earn it. Um, or where I'm going to get any kind of uh, notches on my career resume that I, or on my resume I can put up. So there we go. All right, well, how do we get the potent pollen then? Because I am confused. So here's more bloom weavers. We're almost.
almost done with this one, and unfortunately, we haven't come across any potent pollen yet. Oh, I wonder if it's off, not. It might not be off of the bloom weavers. It might be off the infested. Okay. Well, let's get the bloom weavers taken care of, so we don't have to worry about that. And also, I, I want to say uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of a compliment because I've I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback thanking me for uh, keeping the quest questing breaks to a minimum. Well, thank you. Um, I didn't put the questing breaks in to uh, make things dull or any anything like that for you guys. I know that a lot pe a lot of people really do like the commentary, but uh, sometimes there really just isn't any commentary that I can offer, and I can easily just get the quests done, and then we can move forward in the story of the zone. I don't necessarily have to worry about that from Mr. Pandaria on because, well, the storytelling gets significantly better. And thus, I don't have to worry about it. It's it's a weird deal. But I'm thankful that Blizzard did it because overall, I love it when Blizzard tries to tell a story. They're really good at it. Okay, let's, let's try this infested Ogron and see if maybe he drops what I need. No pollen. No pollen at all. Huh. Maybe the infested orcs? Otherwise, I'm going to have to do my homework. Nope. Didn't work. So, pollen power. Let's see. What does it require? Oh, I'm not even in the area for it. Okay. Well, that makes sense now, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and take care of that, shall we? Oh. Doomweaver. Okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't a rare. I am actually going to try and take on the rares because they do give uh, extra garrison resources as well as gear, other things like that. From from here on, like from Timeless Isle on, it's really worthwhile to take out the rares and look for treasure because now the treasure actually means something. Now the tre treasure can give you stuff that you'll, you'll look forward to, uh, especially in Legion. Legion really benefited from that. Okay, so up oh, here we go. So it was the Ravagers and whatnot that gave me the potent pollen. So let's go ahead and connect it. Thankfully, it won't take too long. Now I do apologize again for not being able to get you uh, the Monday Tale of Dracula. I'm working to get that, but at least uh, I I'm fairly confident that you'll be able to get Wednesday's part as well as this one. And also the Dungeons and Drakfus that we did, which covered patch 3.2, Call of the Crusade, uh, covering the Argent Tournament and its five-man dungeon, Trial of the Champion, as well as Trial of the Crusader, the raid in between Olduar and Ice Crown. Or as some, some raiders like to call it, the infamous Loot Pinata. So there we go. Almost there. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. That's all 20. Let's get out of here. So now that we have these, let's take the long way because... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually need to turn them in down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Follow the path. Through Evermorn Springs, I have a feeling we'll come across Kaz and Draka. Oh, and here's here's some timber. Let's grab that. Something to do with Yes, yeah, something we do. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. Holy crap! <laughs> <coughs> He's got a hat with mugs of ale. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Again, I haven't seen the horde portion of this. That's great. It's way better than than what uh what the humans did. I mean, we got the Yeshmi Node, which I like, but uh that was pretty much it. Oh, I hate the chauffeur mount, man. No. Give me a timber wolf. At least I can manage that. Oh, and we passed something. Ooh, a Gorgon fly trap. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Now we will resume our questing. So up here. No, actually, that's not the where we need to go. Uh over here, I guess. I am confused. says I'm in the right area, but I don't see him. Did I just loop around? I'm back in Evermorn Springs. What the hell? Okay, well. 
Where am I supposed to turn this in then? Let's do bushwhacker and see if that happens. Oh. And that moves with the loom weaver. Maybe up here. I'll oh, follow me if you want. Okay, compost heap. Yeah, here's Draka and Kaz. So maybe that's who we got to turn it into. So hi, Kaz. <laughs> Few dare challenge the Batani in the fields of growing plants. Yeah, I get that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Fresh pollen. With a dash of few, with a few secret ingredients, you could feed an army with the food you could grow from this, if you know the secret ways. Die laughing. Something tells me it's going to make me very, very high. Uh, so Draka. I'm here for you. I had thought the Laughing Skull were planning something. Now I think I'm beginning to understand. They match savagery with savagery. Uh, yep, that, that kind of makes sense, actually, if you think about it. So, I'm going to do haste and master. I think that'll probably be the way to go. And it upgraded. Yay! So, 548 ring. We're going to replace the 516 ring we have. And we still need to find that third turn in. What is it for? Oh, we need to find cutter. That's right. That's why it's a moving target. We need to find cutter. So double or nothing, he is going to be... Oh, he's in here. Cool. No, he's not. There we go. So here's Cutter. Ha, he's a little kid. The Botani took my dad. They took my friends. And now they're making me eat fruit. Why are they so mean? Did you kill them all? I think you should kill them. They made me eat fruit. That's cute. So, I can't kill all these Batani by myself. I'm coming with you. So, a green Ogron? Kaz always told me Ogron are bad. The Batani have a green Ogron, and it's mean. It was strong enough to take out my dad's entire hunting party. Are you strong enough to kill it? Good. Now kill it. So, oh, and then we also have We Burn the Dead. I saw lots of bodies here. Kaz always said to burn the bodies. That way they can't come back as the mean greens. We should burn the bodies. I like seeing lit on fire. I'm making this little kid psychotic, and if, if people are wondering why I'm not giving an orc voice to the little kid, uh, my voice can't go that high, and frankly, I, I just like doing little kid voices for little kid characters. There we go. So what we're doing right now is we are burning the bodies, and then we will also take on the green ogron. Now I believe, when you take out an infested orc, you can also burn that too. But I want to put that theory to the test. Ooh, and actually, if you can see that purple shade over there, that's a treasure. So, no, you cannot burn them. Because so I want to say that the Alliance had a similar quest here. So, discarded pack. Eh, it was just a green item. But mulching body, we'll take that. We will burn the bodies like the little kid has told us to do. Really? You're doing it because a kid asked you to do it? Yes, yes, actually. The, the, the kid actually asked me to do it, and he offered me some XP. So, uh, yeah, I'm good. So now we can take out the green infested Ogron and feel good about it. Face off, Fury! So we've taken care of the infested Ogron. And we have all the bodies burned. So let's go ahead and turn this in with him. Ah, uh, yes, 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 we understand. <coughs> Green Ogron. Yay, burn the bad guy. Burn him a lot. All right, so. I like making him sound psychotic. It makes it work. Uh, let's put on the belt, the or the boots, because they're an upgrade. We burn the dead. That was stinky. Well, they kind of are. Secrets of the Batani. The Batani must have struck that big Ogron there to protect something fancy. And that was... What was that stumpy-looking creature? Oh, hold on. I want to move out of the way so it doesn't pull. So, and what was that stumpy-looking creature that it killed? The Batani are mean. They have some fun toys. Maybe Kaz might know what it was. Can we go find Kaz now? I saw a compost heap on the South Hill. If Kaz came looking for me, I bet she would start there. 
All right, so we'll get out of the Orgron's way and. Woohoo! Which one is this? The Black Steel Battleborn. Man, that's got a big butt. I'm just saying, it's got a huge butt. Now, people were wondering when we actually do get the uh, the benefit of Gorgron, the Mechana Shredder 5000. I actually have the buff right now. I'm just waiting on a on an ideal time to use it, like a boss fight or something. Because it, what it basically does is it puts you in a mech, and then you can do tons of damage with it. It's really helpful, actually. So, Kaz. I found my cutter. I shall gladly cut a thousand throats in your honor. A life spring. It sounds like these dwarves you found managed to steal a powerful Batani artifact. But the fools didn't know they need a special water to power it. To the north is a well among the Evermorn Rise. There you will find a guardian, a creature of water we, na we have named Eutrophis. Slay it and take its essence, and you will be one step closer to claiming the power of the Batani and of the Genosaur. Burn the bodies, oh, but then we have the skulls. Power comes from Cut them down. Another. They steal children? Children? Have you n had you not rescued Kaz's child, he would be reduced to much, just like, uh, mulch just like the others. You should send them a message they will understand. Cut down their great dewcasters. Rip them apart. Let them know that it is not okay to take our children. For the honor of our Okay. Somebody was very excited to tell me that. So, uh, thankfully, all you have to do is just go over here and you start seeing some areas with water elementals, and that's what they're basically wanting us to take out. Yeah, here we go. So, here's a lot of infested orcs guarding Evermorn Rise, but then you have these Dew Masters, <coughs> and off in the back, you have Eutrophis. So. Oh, and by the way, so here's a here's a Fury design, a Water Fury. I love the design. And very happy that it got incorporated into Legion. Okay, let's take out Eutrophus. Face out Fury! You stop. We're taking you. And we can take the waters of Eutrophus, and now we just need two more Dew Masters, and then we're done. There we go, that's two. Oh, and he summoned a liquid life. Use the element which brings life. What if I don't want to? Okay. Now we have these quests taken care of. You know, I'm gonna... This is actually bothering me. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. Dang it, we need more timber. Where is the timber? Wait, okay, yeah, we, we do need, we do turn these in over here. So, hi guys, hi Draka. We took care of those water thingies. <laughs> For years, the Laughing Skull will not touch the sacred waters. We feared the wrath of the Botani. We should have set them to burn long ago. All right, here's some water. The waters of Eutrophis. I've never he held or smelled or tasted it before, but I've heard many stories, many legends. I was expecting something more grand. Okay, so we have agility. They're both neck pieces, but one's crit versatility, one's versatility Die master. Laughing. We'll go ahead and go with that. There we go, and Draka. We must protect our home. They are lucky you are the one that killed them. I would have tried to carve pictures in their dead wood bodies. The brain. Okay, and then Kaz again. The Thieving burn, dwarves. Fire and Cutter burn. is on the trail of the artifact that the dwarves stole. He has the nose of a wolf when it comes to hunting in the jungle. Follow the canyon south until you find him. It would seem the wolf queen and I are going to do more damage here before we leave. We will follow as quickly as we can. Burn the bodies, okay. but keep the skulls. So, we need to go to uh, Bastion Rise, which is kind of the furthest south that the map goes. <coughs> Here we go. Thankfully, we can just get this little back road to help us over to Bastion Rise, since there is actually a little, um, oh, wow, failed Thrasher Basin. Well, we will not worry about that, because I am not questing in here, at least not yet. There is a little al alliance outpost you can get out here, and I have a feeling... Oh, 
and we actually passed the horde one. So let's go grab that flight point because I do not, I do not want to miss it. Huh? And if I could talk better, then that would be awesome. But that's the way it goes. Uh, this way, I guess. Luke's overlook. Uh, look sounds familiar. Yeah, so actually you can get this guy as a follower. Let's, let's actually talk to him. Gluk like to beat things. Want to get beaten? What? Well, sure, why not? Fist out your eye! And if you take him out, then he does this. I am Bluke. Bluke never eat before. Bluke follow tiny person now. Bluke learn how to beat more people. So now we can get uh, Bluke, who is a Fury Warrior, and can actually counter time battle. So that's great. We'll go ahead and keep you, Bluke. And by the way, ha! Joke. Oh, wait. Evermore Springs? Yeah, Evermore Springs is supposed to have a flight path. So let's see if we can find it. Dang it. I passed a flight point. Don't ever do that, people. Drives you nuts. Thankfully, though, a lot of the uh, heirloom maps are now available uh, as of patch 7.3, but I don't think Draenor is in there. So you can get flight points for Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, most of the areas, I think. Okay, Evermorn Springs is supposed to have a flight path. The compost heap. Oh, here it is. We passed it. Yeah. So, Chuckle Spine, thank you. So we'll grab that and then we'll head over to Bastion Rise. And yeah, so people are actually asking about these little swords. Those are the bonus objectives that you can do for additional XP. But since I'm 99, watch as this happens. Uh, as soon as I hit 100 and cap, at least as far as Warlords is concerned, uh, you will see the bonus objectives disappear, be at least for Draenor, because they are they were meant as extra XP for Draenor, not necessarily for anything else. Uh, and here's a jungle axe beak. Okay. Also, we do get access to another race in Draenor, which is the Saberon. Oh yeah, by the way, so that's the Mechano Shredder. Occasionally you can find stuff just uh, in the underbrush and the way that you take care of it, since you're in the southern end, is you actually uh, pull out the Mechano Shredder to take care of it. Thankfully though, it doesn't burn into your cooldown. All right, so here's Cutter. Wow, those dwarves sure do know how to make Batani and Gorin mad. And boom! We are now capped for Draenor, and we're not even... We're one zone in, people. One. Oh, too many Christmas. But we're gonna, we're gonna finish off Draenor content, so don't worry about that too much. But yeah, we are capped, and I'm gonna show on the map. Oh, actually, the bonus objectives are still here, so they, they adhere to the cap. Uh, so we might be able to get bonus XP, but from here on, I'm actually going to try very hard not to get XP because Legion will provide me plenty. Um, so especially with like heirlooms, and, or not heirlooms, uh, artifacts and, and whatnot. But let's go ahead and talk to Carter again. So the Batani want, uh, yeah, 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 uh, we already know this. So Will of the Genesar. I'm pretty sure those dwarves took the artifact in that iron fort there. Are you going to go get it? Yes, we will. And then down the Goron hole. Dwarves are dumb. Don't they know that if you dig a deep hole, you're going to have a Goron attack? If you're going to go into that iron fort, you better kill a bunch of Goron. Otherwise, they're going to chew the walls enough to cause a cave in. I'll do it myself, but I'm stuffed from all that fruit the Batani made me eat. I hate fruit. <laughs> okay, there we go. So. I am blue. I am blue. No, no. Nope, we're not, we're not doing it. I am rude. Okay, there, there we go. We, we got that out of our system. All right, so there's a bunch of infested orcs over here and a mailbox, by the way. I don't know why a mailbox is here, but it is. So all you have to do is go into this settlement and we'll be taking care of both the Goran as well as getting the will of the Genosaur. So, let's see. We gotta kill seven Gorin. Or Gorin Breachers. There we go. <coughs> oh, 
<clears throat> now, people have also been asking when the um, vlog that I was talking about where I basically do my ideal raid content for Warlords of Draenor will be happening. I'm not sure. I'm having to basically put it to the back burner. It might not necessarily come out while I'm doing Warlords content, uh, but I eventually will do it just to, to let people know like my thoughts on the matter. I'm still actually doing some research to see whether or not my ideas would even work. Because uh, I had to go like into the, the the battle plans and see what they were trying to do with Warlords and whether or not this would have worked with my grandiose plan. And it might not even work. Who knows? Oh, and here is Will of the Genosaur. So we'll go ahead and grab that too. So, and here's Cutter. You can turn this all in. Oh, we missed somebody. We missed uh, Doomshot. We'll take care of that in a second. So, Will of the Genosaur. Kai said she wants me to hide for this fight. Yes. The Genosaur is coming. Uh-oh. And down the Gorn hole. Going, going, gone! Ha! I get it. There we go. And, ooh, cool. Rare upgrade. So this went to 556, and we'll go ahead and replace the 505 with it. Uh, so now we just need to get out of here, and I have a feeling we missed a quest along the way, so we'll we'll get that done, because I... Actually, I think I know what it is. I think it's dealing with these. These are supposed to be cannon ammo, I think. Okay, so here's more. Let's go this way. Screw you, Mr. Gorin. Yep, there, there it is. So, Doom Shot. So, we'll go ahead and claim this quest. Right next to a Dark Iron Dwarf, by the way. You saw actually a lot of Dark Iron Dwarves this expansion. Uh, Doom Shot. This ominously large explosive appears to be ammunition for the primary cannon that the Bastion is built around. The loading assembly must be on a lower floor, but this ammo did not make it that far. Okay, so you have to collect four Doom Shots. And screw you for attacking me while I was reading a quest. Oh, and it does give you one, since you already found one Doom Shot, so this is not going to be hard. Because here's our three. And four. Now, where do I turn it in? Is it with Cutter again? No, nope, just with Doomshot, so... Or maybe I do... Yeah, I have a feeling I actually need to go out all the way back down to the furnace area and then use them. Well, that's inconvenient, but we'll make it. Yep, there you go. So here's the weapon loader. We got to load the weapon, everybody. Cutter's going to appreciate this. I'm going to appreciate what? Nothing. Okay, this loader can take a number of rounds of doom shot at a time. So go ahead and load it. The rounds of doom shot fit into the weapon loader with ease. Boom. And now we get an additional quest from Cutter. Ayu. There's a genosaur here. It wants its artifact back. Kaz and Draka are fighting it now on the surface, but they need you. Draka said I could fire the big gun, so I will stay here and do that. Yes, I want to fire my boomstick. Oh. Help, Draka and Kaz. Draka said I could fire the big gun. I'm going to whip that beast apart with this dwarven demon blast. Behemoth blast, though. Oh, and here's some IU pustules. So obviously, Ayu does, Ayu does not want us in here. Oh, and he's already blowing the place apart. The Genosaur is not pleased. Not at all. <coughs> so this faces into uh, having to deal with Ayu, who's this big mother humpin Genosaur. And now that we're here, we can finally attack. And for this, Mechano Shredder! Because why not burn it down? Burn it down! Okay, so... Now, the third button is actually just a jump, so we're... Or, like, a high, not a high jump, but, a, like, a flight jump. There we go, so we've taken care of this. And now, unfortunately, we must leave the Mechano Shredder behind so we can turn in the quest. So, Draka. What can I do? 
was an honor to fight by your side today, Commander. So, yay, 543. Now, they can upgrade to Epic. That can actually happen, so if you're wondering about that. Power of the Genosaur. Commander, you now have the will of the Genosaur, along with the Genesis water, and enough seeds to grow an army, not to mention the laughing skulls you helped save. I would call this mission a success. I will investigate this fortress further and see if there are any more materials we might glean from it. In the meantime, you may want to bring these artifacts you have obtained to Duratan back at the outpost. I will catch up once we have finished here. Okay, and then Run you can also get Kaz. <laughs> Kaz the Shrieker. Commander, you go where you will and kill any who would stand in your way. I find this fun. I wish to join your followers, as the Lady Wolf keeps calling them. My home is crushed, my family mulched, and this place has lost its charm. Let me join you. So she's an elemental shaman, she counters deadly minions, and yeah, let's go ahead and take as the Shrieker. So now we have an additional follower we can work with. Unfortunately, she's green. Uh, you could eventually upgrade them once they hit level 100 to blue and then epic followers. You could only get one legendary follower for Warlords, unfortunately, and that was uh, through the, leg the legendary ring quest line, which is no longer available. Uh, so I have no problem spoiling it. It is this Draenor's version of Garona half Orkin. Uh, which is actually pretty cool, being able to do that, because she was a she was an intriguing character to be able to to see like her early Draenor self, and again, even more proof that maybe this was more built to to uh, help advertise the movie, because well, a pivotal character in that was Garona. That's okay, she shows back up in Legion. Our our Garona, not this one. Do you see the problem with Warlords? Is that I have to constantly say our our character not not that one all right so let's go ahead and fly back to beast watch and we'll do a quick magic cut while we do that okay we are back at beast watch so let's go ahead and turn this in with duratan and let him know we were successful Welcome, friend of the frost wolves well done commander many of the orcs have tried to master the power of the genosaur but i have never heard of any succeeding you have won us a powerful weapon for the next time we face the iron horde Run and the in the land of giants, so two of four. We need to get supporting your garrison and the iron approach still. But uh, let's see, where do we have to go next? We have Penny Clobberbottom outside Tangleheart, and then we also have uh, Crimson Fen. Let's go ahead and go to Tangleheart. It's kind of the next one on the map. So boom. And while we're going, we'll see if we can secure some timber. If we do, then I actually do need to go all the way back out to... Uh, to my garrison, because I want to turn that in for the medium timber, since we have a level two lumber mill. We have Mist Creep Mire, which we could do, but I'm not going to. Oh, and here is some timber. Yay! It's too far away. Huh? Oh, this one doesn't have the the ale yeah, mugs on his on his hat. Okay, so I hate to do this, guys, but we're gonna head back to the garrison so we can turn this in and get the medium. Uh, work or the medium lumber order so that we can start also getting that too. Boom. So, oh, and actually, we have more quests to take on here, so we'll grab those too. Boom. So, now that we're back here, oh, that's Rokon. We need the lumber mill. And we're not going to worry about Lo Rokon because that's for uh, Talador. And we're not necessarily going there just yet. All right, let's go ahead and talk to you. So I would like to submit a work order. Boom. And Free now we can turn this in. So, Greetings, Strakfu, here to do some lumberjacking? That's how it's done, Commander. We're fully operational. Anytime you have enough timber to place a work order, come on back to me and we'll get started. This garrison ain't gonna build itself. Go no, it's not. But now we have sharper blades, bigger timber. Incredible news, Commander Drakfu. Your ever loyal servant, me has managed to secure us timber lords. Now, maybe you don't know what a timber lord is, so let me explain. Think of a blood crazed mass murderer who enjoys nothing more than killing. Now, take your same enthusiasm for killing and apply it to killing trees. That's a timber lord. Hmm. At least they love their job. What this means is that now we can cut medium sized timber, but first we need to give these timber lords a test run. There's a suitable tree nearby. Good luck. Straight. Let's go ahead and get the uh, timber sample so that we can then start harvesting medium lumber. <coughs> Thankfully, we don't have to go too far, I don't think. <clears throat> We're going to find out in a second. 
just have to exit Frostfire Ridge. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much the same area that I had to go for the first uh, test that I got. So let's go ahead and do that. All the way over here. Over by where the Rylak are. So... Can I get up there via the Rylak? Or... Yeah, I could probably do it. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's jump over. Hi, Mr. Rylak. Don't worry about me. Ah, and here's Stonefang Outpost. I actually probably could have just flown here and gotten it done. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Here's the lumber we need. Here we are, the timber. We get that done. So this is a timber lord. You go do what you're good at and I'll do what I'm good at. Killing trees. Oh yeah, so he's kind of the same way as the Alliance where it's basically a guy who's just wielding buzz saws. That's nice. Okay, so let's head all the way back. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to fly back. Just so we can get this done a little bit quicker. And in the meantime, magic out while we do that. Okay, we are back at the garrison, so we'll go ahead and turn in this timber sample. But first, let's check the garrison resources. Not that much. And all the way over here to the lumber mill. And yeah, these uh, so these lumber well work orders would be garrison resources. This is another great way to be able to get them. Uh, so sharper blades, bigger timber. Did you harvest the timber sample yet? Uh, yes, we did. You didn't believe me about those timber lords, did you? Well, now you know. It looks like this group will serve you well, sir. Medium-sized trees across Drano are now at your mercy. This means more timber per tree. All right, so boom. Now we can do medium, uh, medium-sized timber uh, in Gorgron. So that's going to be even more helpful, but we have additional quests out here. So we're going to go ahead and grab them. First of all, with Warmaster Zog. Strength and honor. Look, ta, Commander Drakfu. So, Proving Grounds. Oh, yes. So, this is actually how you got into Warlords of Draenor Heroics, and they actually didn't carry it into Legion. I was kind of disappointed by that. But we're not going to worry about the Proving Grounds. They actually were something that were introduced in the final patch of Missa Pandaria, and it was a really great way to be able... It's actually kind of a tutorial. If you don't know how to be a tank or a healer, it's a great way to be able to learn. Um, I kind of wish it had come back in Legion just a little bit, but it didn't. Um, hopefully they give you access still. Let's go ahead and talk to Gazlo too. My very own fortress. Boss, guess what? I finally got the new larger draft paper that I ordered when we first came here. And you know what larger draft paper means? It means I could draw a bigger fortress. And if I could draw it, I could certainly make it. Making the, e making the easy part, as long as you got a few thousand stones and logs flying around. So what do you say, boss? Shall we get building? So you have to gather 2,000 garrison resources and then use the architect table to build your garrison up to tier three. And we actually have enough to do this, so... And we're 100. So why the heck not? I actually want to see what it looks like. So upgrade our great hall, and it's 5,000 gold, so obviously it's a money sink. But boom! Upgrade. Oh no, cinematic. Hero. Our trust in you was not misplaced. Dang right. You and the armies you command are now our greatest weapon against the Iron Horde. Oh, wow. Lead us to victory. General. So this is the level three garrison. The best that you could possibly get. Now we get two additional plots or three additional plots. One for large. Is it? Is it? No, I think you get two large period, but you now you get an additional plot. So Garrison Campaign War Council. This is actually the end game stuff for Warlords of Draenor. We are not going to worry about taking those just yet. Um, so we'll, we'll untrack this for the moment. But yeah, the Garrison Campaign opens up when you have a level three garrison. We're not going to worry about that, though, until probably Dungeons and Dracfu. So you guys can see the events that happen in between. Because <laughs> I think that's also what's going to happen is any additional lore that we don't cover in in the questing portion, the Tale of Drakfu, uh, we will probably cover in Dungeons and Drakfus because that'll be a really great way to, to fill out the lore of the raids in Draenor as well as any other places that lie beyond. Oh, and then we also have one from Drix Brass Bolter. 
Oh, this is uh, for the Garrison Jukebox. We're not going to worry about that. And also, if you wanted to be able to upgrade your heirlooms, that actually gives you the leading quest to do that. Uh, we have Rokon. And is that it? I think so. Oh, yes, we can actually turn this in. And now you might notice that Vol'jin is here, and that's actually because of uh, patch 6.2 content. For some reason, Varian and Vol'jin show up in your garrison, even though they really aren't involved, and they kind of help you spearhead the assault into Nan Jungle. But now we actually have a bigger town hall, so that's even cooler. And we get additional benefits for that. So let's see, my very own fortune. Oh yeah, dies. we're not gonna turn this in with him just yet. And Warmaster Zog, days. what is yours? Is it still Proving Grounds? Oh, and new goods. New items are available from Sergeant Grimjaw. I suggest that you stop by and take a look at his new goods as soon as you can. Go okay, cool. Her. So we'll Dumb. go ahead and talk to him. But first of all, we're going to turn this in with Gazlo. I'm all yours, Commander. I think I could just fall over and die happy right now. It's a dream come true. I already ordered even lots of draft paper, boss. Don't you worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take care but of now me. we actually do get additional stuff added. Now we just need to find it. Yeah, there he is. Time so is Gazlo's money, assistant. Have a good one. Oh, never mind. <coughs> Do we just talk to him? No, here he is. Here's Resbach. Hey, how you doing? So now we have access to three, uh, level three buildings, which is going to be awesome. Uh, so right now we're going to go ahead and at least try to purchase uh, the ones that we do have. So starting, of course, with the Frostwolf Mines, or Frostwall Mines and the Herb Garden, level three. And we're also going to get the Lumber Mill level three. But these are going to take time, so don't worry about that too much, Keep guys. We'll get back out to Gorgron as soon as we possibly can. Boom. I can't use that item yet. And it actually doesn't even matter because I don't even have the uh, resources to be able to build them just yet. Oh, wait, what? I already have it? What the heck? Yeah, use it. What the heck? Boom. What up? So Keep let going. me just show you really quick. So now we can upgrade them, but it takes 100 resources per. And I only, well, actually I can, I can do all three, I think. Oh, and this one costs zero, but uh, you have to pay a thousand gold. So let's go ahead and do the lumber mill. Let's do the herb garden. And we'll also do the frost wool mines. Cause we're already using those quite a bit. And uh, let's see, oh, that, Commander? can we upgrade the war, the, the war mill any? War mill Yo. level two. Can we do that? That's another thing I want to do because that increases the chance of upgrades. Oh, war mill level two. So we'll go ahead and grab that too. One. See if we can bring that up to par. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry too much about garrison maintenance because garrisons are kind of a thing of the past, but we at least want to make sure that we have these available. And this one we can't afford, but that's okay. We'll work towards it because uh, you need 900 uh, garrison resources, and I'm not going to worry about turning this in with you, because the War Council, it's... Uh, I actually think, yeah, that's supposed to be opening up 6-2 six six content. We're not going to worry about that. So, quick magic out while we fly back out to Gorgron. Okay, we are back in Beast Wash. Let's go ahead and uh, turn in this mission that we got for Lord of War. Yay! Shadowhunter Rala has done it. He's gotten us some additional player XP. That'll be helpful. Can't really do anything else, so let's go ahead and at least look for Tangleheart, uh, which is going to be kind of our next major questing zone or questing area. That's probably how I should put it. Um, can we cut through Razor Bloom to get there? I thought we could. We might be able to. Well, I guess we'll find out because I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. Oh, and now we can, uh, so this is small timber, but now we can harvest medium timber, which we will do. Yes. Jeez, oh, I love that hat, man. I want that. I want that hat now. Can, can that be a BlizzCon bonus? Can that, can that be a thing? That'd be awesome. I don't, I didn't usually want those hats, but now with that big old mug of ale. Yeah, I want it. I want that just because then people would scream at me for putting Coke in it. And I'd be like, eh, I don't care. That's me. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know what you want. Would you pick something already? Work complete. Oh, and Miss Creep Meyer. No, we don't care. <laughs> Tangle hearts. How do I get in there? Oh, and we can also do this. We cut through this stuff. Shred the vines. And we get some garrison resources. 
Well, that will help. Especially considering all of the garrison resources I just spent. Uh, black rock deposit, and there is some more small timber. We'll go and grab that too. <coughs> Doop, 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 doop. That Workplace. must be Tangleheart. Ah, oh, and there you go. Stumpalumbagus. It is a rare, so let's take it out. Hi, Stumpalumbagus. Ignore me. I'm just gonna go ahead and nuke you. What could you possibly give to me? Ooh. It gives me a two handed mace. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Ah, uh, it's nothing special. That would be pretty cool, though. Wish I would have known that before. I don't think I've ever gotten that two-handed mace on a character that needed it. Ah, so here's Penny. Well, hey, look at what I found here! Have a good one. <coughs> so, Penny Clobberbottom. Hey, what do you want? So, growing wood. <laughs> I found this dwarf Thaldrin running out of uh, Tangle Hot like his boots were on fire. Says his mole machine showed up here and he barely made it out alive. And another called Freda might still be inside. One useful thing he told me is that the creatures in there have sap that can be used to grow things fast. By the way, I'm gonna go look for Thuldren's mole machine. Find me in Tangle Hop when you're done. So she wants us to get the uh, ancient growth sap that he's talking about. And then Thuldren. Lost Lumberjack. Ah, my friend was in the mole machine with me. Good old Frena tried to make the best of it, of it by writing all of her observations down in that journal. Penny here wants me to tell you where she is. I cannot say for sure, but she was following me out here, and I don't think she made it. Okay, so we need to look for Frenna. We need to get some sap, and then we need to meet uh, Penny Clobberbottom well within Tangleheart, and that's probably what we're going to do to wrap things up today. So here's Frenna. Frenna didn't make it out of Tangleheart. Oh, that's too sad. But you can get uh, all of the chapters. So chapter one, plant food. This dwarf didn't make it out of Tangleheart alive, but her journal remains behind. So chapter one, plant food. There are strange glowing objects within Tangleheart, seemingly polluted or pollinated by a variety of stinging creature. Uh, the Batani sometimes collect what the whatever the pods produce. I can't be sure what it is, but it might be dangerous to us. Brenna. Okay. Let me also have chapter two, the harvest. I have seen a creature working with the ancient saplings, imbuing them with anger and hatred towards creatures unlike them. Perhaps it is this Batani who is responsible for the unusually aggressive nature of ancients here in Tangleheart. Would killing this Batani do us good? I fear it would be no match for it. I would be no match for it alone. Frenna. So we need to kill uh, Untugen, the Harvester. And then chapter three, Ritual of the Chard. I've seen a strange ritual performed by ancients. They step into fire, burning the leaves from their branches and charring their bark. I call it the Ritual of the Chard. If we want to weaken the ancients, we can get rid of them before they become even stronger. Frenna. So kill four ancients. All right, let's go ahead and get things started with a questing break. Go! Okay, now that we have all of these taken care of, let's go ahead and take care of, once again, the harvester. So, boom! Fist of Fury! Take care of your little ancient friends, too. Okay, so we now have all of these. Now we just need to meet. Ah, uh, dang it! I hate getting that cleft hoof. Need to take it out. Amber scorpion. I, I, I can take that. Uh, let's see. So we need to go meet with Penny, and I believe we turn all of these in with her. Yeah, because she takes the prisoner with her. So let's see if we can bypass some of these ancients in Tangle Hearts. Oh, and over here is where the mole machine is supposed to be. Because these are dark iron dwarves, so they have mole machines. There we are. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these in with Penny. Welcome so, growing Penny. wood. Don't be such a, such a sap. Get it? No. You got it. You should be able to use this mole machine on the one way back to the outpost. Okay, so now we can get these wrists. Are they worthwhile? Yes, they are, actually. So we'll go ahead and upgrade to them. So chapter one, plant food. Hey, nice job, Commander. There you go. Chapter two, the harvest. Big baddie, Batani busted. Works for me. And then chapter three. You saw them burn off their own leaves? Ah, that'd be like me cutting off my cute as cute as a button pigtails. 
keep it real. Yeah, not really. Supporting your garrison, though. So, yay, we have all this done. And let's go ahead and use the mole machine to get back to our garrison outpost. And I'm stuck. Oh, there he <laughs> Random pockets of teleportation. What the heck? Okay, but we actually do have some additional quests here, so let's go grab them. Penny, you good people, Commander. So now we get Penny Clobberbottom, who is a survival hunter, encounters massive strength. Boom, and she upgraded, actually, so she's blue. Daba dee daba die. And Duratan. We fight together. Struck while the iron is hot. With the will of the Genosaur, we wield a powerful weapon. Our scouts have discovered an Iron Horde base, and I believe it's time to seize an opportunity. They amass far to the north at the Iron Approach. This will not be easy, but we must deal a blow to the Iron Horde while we possess the artifact. We are pre prepared to depart at your command. Speak with Grinslicer when you're ready. Make us proud. Now. Uh, we technically can go and finish the... So that's actually the last chapter of, of Gorgon, is going up to the Iron Approach. But we still have a quest out there for the Crimson Fen, and I do want to show that, that off. So when we get back on Monday, we will head to the Crimson Fen, we'll help out there, and then we will finish things up in Gorgon. We'll see you guys then.